Have you ever wondered why a song can make you feel happy, sad, or even give you chills? Or why certain tunes get stuck in your head for hours? Music isn't just entertainment. It's a powerful force that shapes your emotions, memories, and even your brain's chemistry. Before we dive in, if you enjoy mind-blowing science and psychology, make sure to subscribe and drop a comment. I'm just starting out, and every sub keeps me motivated to bring you more awesome content. Now, let's explore how music secretly controls your mind. The Science of Sound When you listen to music, your brain lights up like a Christmas tree. It activates multiple areas at once, including those responsible for emotion, memory, and movement. But what's really fascinating is how deeply music affects your brain's chemistry. Dopamine release. Music triggers the release of dopamine, the same feel-good chemical associated with pleasure, motivation, and even addiction. That's why listening to your favorite song can feel just as rewarding as eating your favorite food. Memory enhancement. Ever hear a song and suddenly remember a specific moment from years ago? That's because music activates the hippocampus, the brain's memory center. This is why people with Alzheimer's can often remember old songs even when they struggle to recall names or events. Music and movement. Even when you're sitting still, music activates the motor cortex, which is why your foot taps to the beat without you even thinking about it. Why certain songs give you chills? Have you ever experienced free song? that spine-tingling, goosebump-inducing reaction to music. This happens when a song unexpectedly builds tension, changes pitch, or introduces a powerful harmony. Your brain perceives this as a moment of intense emotion, triggering the same response as a deep emotional experience or even a life-threatening situation. Some researchers believe this response comes from our ancient survival instincts, Early humans relied on sound to detect danger, and certain musical patterns may still trigger that primal part of our brain. Music's power over emotion. Why sad songs feel good. Have you ever listened to a sad song even when you're already feeling down? It seems counterintuitive, but studies show that melancholic music can actually make you feel better. Slow, sad songs can help your brain process complex emotions, acting like an emotional release. Oxytocin and connection. Sad music can increase levels of oxytocin, the bonding hormone, making you feel comforted, as if someone understands your emotions. A safe way to feel, music lets you experience deep emotions without real life consequences. You can feel sadness, longing, or nostalgia in a controlled, safe environment. That's why heartbreak playlists and tear-jerking movie soundtracks are strangely satisfying. Why some songs get stuck in your head, the earworm effect. We've all had a song stuck in our head for hours, or even days. This phenomenon is called an earworm, and it happens when a tune loops in your working memory without your control. Songs with simple, repetitive structures are more likely to get stuck because they're easier for your brain to store. Unfinished business. Your brain doesn't like incomplete patterns, so when you hear only part of a song, it tries to fill in the rest, which is why commercial jingles are so catchy. Stress and idle time. Earworms often appear when your brain isn't fully engaged, like when you're showering, walking, or trying to fall asleep. The best way to get rid of an earworm. Listen to the full song to give your brain closure, or distract yourself with another task. Can music make you smarter? The Mozart effect explained. You may have heard the theory that listening to classical music, especially Mozart, can make you smarter. While it's true that music can enhance brain activity, the idea that it permanently boosts intelligence is a myth. However, studies show that listening to music while studying can improve focus and concentration, enhance problem-solving skills, reduce stress and anxiety. But it depends on the type of music. Instrumental or ambient music works best, while lyrics can actually be distracting. 
how music is used to influence you. Music is more powerful than we realize. It's used everywhere to shape emotions and behavior. Stores and restaurants ever notice how fast-paced music in a store makes you shop quicker, while soft music in a restaurant makes you stay longer. That's not an accident. Businesses use music to manipulate customer behavior. Movies and games, soundtracks influence how you feel about a scene. The same footage can feel terrifying, dramatic, or joyful just by changing the music. Advertising and propaganda, political rallies, commercials, and even national anthems use music to evoke strong emotions and shape public perception. Your brain reacts to music instinctively, even when you don't realize it. Is music controlling your brain? Music isn't just entertainment. It's a powerful tool that shapes emotions, memories, and even decision-making. Whether it's helping you focus, making you nostalgic, or influencing what you buy, music has a deeper impact on your brain than you think. So, what's a song that completely changed the way you feel? Let me know in the comments. And if you love exploring the mysteries of the human mind, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more fascinating videos.